Alright everybody, good evening. This is Luke the Vacuum Saver tuning back into another video. I missed you all. How's it been? So, welcome to 2024. Happy New Year to all of you. And I have the heater going. It is very, very, very cold inside this garage. But, um, welcome to the new year. Um, and by the way, folks, I just gotta say, I have a record break. Um, last year, ladies and gentlemen, I welcomed back 54 vacuums back out into the world that have been successful. 54, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's a pretty good number, I would say. So... Today's edition of Vacuum Save will be called the Retro Hoover Edition. Ooh, what a nice name that is for a nice little episode like today. Um, so, I'll give you a rundown on the machines in a minute here. But if this is your first video with me, my name is Luke and I say vacuums. And by the way, I have another image of you for you guys. This is how many vacuums I have saved. Past couple of months here. And that's my rug scrubber right there. But take a look at that. I got an, a Dyson for spare parts back there. That Hoover, this little metal handle thing, that's 118 years old back there. So, and that baby is still going strong, and I don't know how it is, but somehow it is. So I'm very happy to report that, and I'm also very happy to report this. My DC-17 is doing fantastic now. So somehow I got rid of the brush roll noise, and... It's been doing amazing, and I even ran it today a little bit, as you can tell by this nice, clean carpet. So, that was from the Dyson today. So, thank you, Dyson DC-17. So, anywho, if this is your first video with me, this vid these videos, number one, speak for themselves, and number two are broken down into four categories, which is the introduction, which is what you saw here, a story time of each machine, a test run of each machine, and then a final thoughts section, uh, and that's at the very end of the video, and my oh my oh my, ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to show these machines to you, and one of these machines you're not going to believe, and we haven't had ever in the garage here, and it is its first time in the garage here, and it, I don't think it's ever leaving now. So, welcome to the family to one of these vacuums, and you'll see which one later. But one of these vacuums we have had in numerous times. So, let's go ahead and give you a rundown of the machines today. So, first up, on our right, our, excuse me, our left hand side, we have a Hoover Runabout Deluxe. Okay. Hoover Runabout Deluxe right here. It is a 7 amp motor, by the way. 7 amp motor. It's a really, really, really good vacuum here. Now, I've had a, a, a good bit of these on my channel, but are you guys ready for what is about to come next for all of you? You ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? We have never had a vacuum like this on the channel before. That is why... It, it is called the Retro Hoover Edition. And on our right hand side, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I got you a treat. This is a Hoover convertible. Ooh, hoo, 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 look at that. That's a Hoover convertible right there, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a 1954. 1954, this vacuum was made. And my God. Golly, Miss Molly, does this thing sound amazing. I can't wait for you guys to hear this thing. And this, honestly, it's one of the best Hoover Elite 350 series vacuums I've ever had in the shop. And when I tell you don't blink later, seriously, folks, don't blink. This bag is so fresh and new, thanks to me, on this Hoover, that this puffs out so fast. When I turn it on, you'll, you'll see it. And I'm I'm kidding I'm not kidding you folks. Don't blink when I tell you don't blink later in this video. So it's time to get started, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? Who else is ready for this big exciting video of vacuums saved, baby? We are on episode number thirty-nine already. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for all the support to all of the people who watch my channel, to the people that have given me the vacuums to repair and everything like that. Uh, recently, I had a Eureka in from my fire department, and that is back at its home and running great, so hello to all my fire department members if you're seeing this. Um, and honestly, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Everybody, welcome to an, yet another edition of Vacuum Saved. So, now you know what the deal is. It's time for story time. So, let's go ahead and begin our story time today with the Hoover Runabout. Okay, everybody. Welcome to part one of story time for episode, yes, you heard me right. 39 already, folks. Episode number 39. We're coming a long way, folks, and I'm really proud to see this. Um, And like I said, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you guys have given me throughout the years. And I, real quick, before I get started with this story time, I wanted to point out a major issue that these... I, I addressed this in the last video, too, with the Hoover Wind Tunnel... But, um, there's a different issue that these Elite 350s have on their own. And if you realize, your belt is right here. So, if we tilt the machine down onto its back here. So, this is the machine right here. And this is not your typical vacuum, okay? This is stationary. So, in order to remove the belt and maintain it, this top motor head comes off. That is how you maintain this vacuum. And to do that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to make sure need to make sure the vacuum cleaner is in the vacuuming position laid down, but I have it just set up for this demonstration. So what you're going to want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you're going to want to take a screwdriver. Um, I'll go, just go ahead and grab my big one here, right here. So you're going to want to take a flathead screwdriver, not a Phillips head, a flathead screwdriver, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is the frame starts right about here. So what you're going to do is you're going to pry your way around this thing, and then until it comes the whole way off on both sides. Pop your belt back on. It's that simple as that, folks. Um, so, really, if you know how to maintain these vacuums, they are a, going to be a fan favorite. Because, you'll no one thing you'll notice about these Hoover Elite Runabout 350 and 430 models is this. They are super light, ladies and gentlemen. So, and they are powerful, too. So, all of you guys are going to absolutely love these vacuums. If you have them. Now, this vacuum is special in its own way. As it does not take a bag. I repeat, this is a shake-out bag unit. Sort of similar to a Sanitaire SC679K. Which all, excuse me, letter J, which is, also has a shakeout bag. K is the HEPA filter model that requires a bag style F and G, in case you have that vacuum. So, it's really, really, really simple to maintain the bag on this. So, how you do it is you pull that out and then slide this to the side. And then you just dump the dirt out. It's simple as that. So... Where did I get this vacuum from? So I got this vacuum from Wow Outlet. Both of these vacuums today are from Wow Outlet. But this one was something special to me. Because back in the day, when I got my Hoover Elite 430, it was more of a salmon color, like this bag. It was salmon all around, almost. It was a beautiful looking vacuum. Hoover Elite 431, I was done fixing it, and, and I filmed it recently, of course, so, um, 
I, I, all I just gotta say is wow about this machine, how beautiful it is, and how, and I've been running it the past couple weeks here, and this thing has just blown me away with its power and stuff. Besides the wind tunnel in the DC-17, this is tied for second place for being the most powerful vacuum I have up here right now. Um, really, really, really a great vacuum, and it's worth every dime if you guys still have these things or... And anybody who has an Elite 350 like this knows that. They are very light and powerful, but they are a bit hard to maintain if you don't know how to do it. But that's why you got a guy like me on YouTube who knows what he's up to. And you guys can keep these vacuums running forever and ever and ever and ever, it seems like. And that's the thing I like about these vacuums. is They seem like commercially built, but they're made for residential use. And, um, so I got this vacuum from Wow Outlet, and there was numerous of these there when I picked up my first Elite 430, and then I realized a few months later, I actually got this one the same day I got that Dyson, the DC-17 right there, that you saw in the last video, that was my worst vacuum by far. Anybody who watched that video knows why. But, anyhow, I got this the same day I got the Dyson. And I realized from the last time, wait a minute, that's the same Hoover from last time. And, indeed it was, folks. It was, it was still there. And I'm like, why does nobody want this vacuum? And, I'm, and I still haven't found that out yet. But all I know is it is in the right hands now. And it came to the right person, and it got the cleaning it needed. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, look at this thing now, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to run this for you guys. It is a 7-amp motor, and it sounds just like a Hoover Elite 350 should. Now, keep this in mind, that the Elite 430, the twin cousin to this Elite 350, and you can tell by the motor sound in a second here, um... The motor sound of the Elite 350 is much higher pitched than the Elite 430. So if you get one of these used, and it is a higher pitched one like this, you have a Hoover Elite 350. And if it is a lower pitched vacuum, you have an Elite 430. Um, I can't remember what episode that thing was in, but I showed it. And, I, and you guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you find it. Or I'll, I'll put it in the description if I can find it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I got this vacuum home and it ran perfectly for me. And that's essentially how this vacuum came to be. All it needed was a little cleaning, in which it, you can see it clearly got here. Um, so yeah, that is the story time for this. Hoover Elite 350 Runabout. Alright guys, start bouncing out of your seats for this one. No, not quite literally. But, get excited folks, because here comes the big surprise. Uh-huh, the big mama. The, my 1954 Hoover Convertible. Okay folks, so welcome to story time, part number two of episode 39 of Vacuum Saved. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is my 39th episode with you guys already on YouTube. And throughout the past two years, I can't thank you guys enough for how supportive you guys have been. And all of your watches and likes and warm comments when I had the comment section turned on really keeps me going, guys. So you guys are part of this. So thank you. In advance to all people that watch my videos... Excuse me, there, watch my videos, either whether you like, subscribe, oh, speaking of subscribers, thank you, huge thank you to all of my new subscribers on YouTube that have just joined the channel. Welcome to Luke the Vacuum Saver family, guys, and with this channel, I will take very good care of you, and I am still yet to post the video on how to maintain a bagless and bagged vacuum cleaner. I did not forget, folks. I am just been a little bit busy throughout the holiday season here, and 
by the way, the heater is on for a little bit of mistletoe feeling, and like I said in the very beginning of the video, it is a very cold night in this garage here, so, um, so this is a 1954 Hoover convertible. Now, you won't believe me when I say this, folks, but this had a frozen motor when I got it. Yep. I'm not kidding you folks. This thing had a frozen motor when I had it. And here's how that happened. Was there was a... Well, somebody used the wrong bell on this thing. And there was a piece of sheared, sheared rubber. And then it somehow chewed up the fan inside. So, throughout the past couple of weeks, I've been working on this vacuum. And it is finally ready to go for all of you guys. And boy, I turned this thing on today and that puppy ripped in happiness. So I can't wait for you guys to see this thing in action. It's a 1954 and this thing is not leaving my garage anytime soon. Um, yes, it it still does need a good cleaning with all these scratch marks on it and stuff. But still, I, I, I tried everything I could. Maybe buffering would work if somebody knows how to do that. Um, especially one of my fire department members, let me know in the comment sections down below. Do you think a, a good buffer job on the plate there would do a, wonders for this thing or not? Um, so, I got this vacuum at WOW Outlet as well. Um, and, of course, nobody wanted this thing. And I'm like, well, how could you not want a Hoover convertible? Well, turns out, I plug it in. It goes, <coughs> like that. And... <coughs> Excuse me. So I got it home here, and they. So, mm, ugh, sorry there, folks. So what happened was I got this thing home. It made that noise again on me. So the first thing I did was look at the brush roll in the belt system. Now, please don't confuse this with a Sanitaire or a Eureka. They are not the same. This is a Hoover. So, um, but this will take Eureka slash sanitaire belts but just make sure that it has a nice tight fit like mine does so what happened was ladies and gentlemen if i set the vacuum down here the first thing i went after when i realized it was making that noise was its brush roll housing and just take a look how beautiful that is now all cleaned out like that and i still need to do a little bit of work with the front bumper but that's okay so, and here it is now, folks. Look at that. So, it is very easy to maintain this vacuum. Um, just like a sanitaire, the bottom pops off here so you can see exactly the motor fan. And I'll go ahead and show you that, actually. Now, people have been seeing these 5 and 7 amp motor sanitaires on YouTube and stuff like that. Right, ladies and gentlemen? And I'm going to tell you how you can identify what kind of amperage of a vacuum cleaner you have. So, if the fan is plastic, like this, it is a 5 amp motor. If the fan is metal, it is a 7 amp motor. So that is a good way that you can tell. And there, right there is the fan right there, all cleaned out. Here, I'll give it a spin again for you. Here, I'll give it a spin again. All right. So there we go. You saw the fan spin. This baby is going to do beautiful for us on this rug today. So, and I have no doubts in it whatsoever now so i know this thing can do it so it's time to show all you one second alrighty folks there's the so there it is all back together and i'm glad i could take a little bit of time and show you the difference between a 5 and a 7 amp motor on a commercial vacuum cleaner like this. So, like I said though, this was a vacuum the first of its kind. 
that I've ever seen that has had this many problems before. Now, I did have one of these once before I started this channel when I first started liking vacuums back when I was 12 years old. So, um, and believe me, it was a, it, it's a true enthusiast slash collector's item. Anybody that collects and runs vacuums like that can tell you. So, that is story time for this vacuum. And it's time for test time, ladies and gentlemen. It's come our favorite time. How about that? So, we are going to actually begin today with the Hoover Convertible. And then I will do the runabout. So first up, the Hoover Convertible. Alright, let's we'll shut this heater down. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to note, it, note to you that this Hoover Convertible is quite loud. Because it's so old. But, but old doesn't always mean better or worse. So... This vacuum is ridiculously powerful now, and you're going to hear it in the carpet here in a little bit, and it has a smooth wind down, and it runs pretty smooth, but it's a little loud. Just going to put that out there, folks. For anybody that is noise sensitive, I'll tell you to plug your ears. How's that? So, let's go ahead and give this baby a plug in. There we go. All right. Who else is excited for this one, ladies and gentlemen? Because I know I sure am. So, here comes a 1954, ladies and gentlemen. This is... This was around when my parents were around. And for most of you, your great-grandparents, probably. Or your grandparents, probably. So, um... Here we go. This is the Hoover Convertible. And let's fire her up for her test run in 3, 2, 1. How about that, folks? Look at those nice little carpet lines. Old vacuum showing the runabout what, what, who's boss. I don't know. But I think the runabout is going to show the convertible who's boss. We'll see. All right, so I'll unplug this guy. So that was the Hoover convertible, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, for its age, it did pretty darn well there. Oh, and by the way, folks, I will be doing something very special for episode number 40. I just am so, so, so grateful for everybody who has supported this channel the whole way through its journey of being two years now on YouTube. Um, new subscribers, likes, and comments are always welcome. So, please and thank you for telling all of your friends to watch this channel. Um... It's truly homemade from the heart kind of videos. So, now it's time for the Hoover Runabout. I'm excited for this one, folks. This is the one you can't blink for. This thing is ridiculously powerful. When I say that, I mean it. So, I forgot this cord hook isn't functioning properly there. So, let's go ahead and just unwind a few. This guy. All right, I just I'll just do the whole cord. It has a pretty short cord. Well, this thing is ideally for apartment apartments and small college dorms and stuff like that. So the cord's not very big on it. Well, homes weren't as big as they are now. So here we go. All right, plug that puppy in. And let's get moving with this. All 
All right, folks, here it comes. Don't blink. The Hoover runabout in three, two, one. How about that for a nice acting, folks? What did I tell you? I told you I had a nice surprise for you. So I'll wrap this up and give final thoughts. All right, so final thoughts on these two. Um, so first thought is they did amazing. Number one and number two, you saw how powerful these vacuums truly are, and some of the one of them is much older than the other, as you guys can see. But they both did a really good job, and that is it for episode number thirty-nine, folks. I miss you all. Let's hope for a good new year. And by the way, I told you that I saved a record-breaking number of vacuums. So let's hope for a very soon episode 40, guys. Happy New Year.